Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Official Z, and today in this video I'm going to show you a high round strategy on the giant. Now for the first round, you're going to want to shoot every zombie in the leg 8 times. Then after, you're going to want to knife them. This will give you the most points you can get. On round 2, you're going to want to go ahead and knife each zombie twice. So you'll see one, you go up, knife it once, back up, and then go in and knife it again just so you don't get hit or double hit sorry now as you're doing this you'll get drops and I just got a max ammo right there so that will help later you can get more points to open more doors for more perks now open this door and then open the second door over here you'll notice the box is over here well I just got lucky for this and if the box was anywhere else Except in the power room, I would have not bought it. I would have gone with the VMP or something else. But the 48 dredge is not a very good gun for the starting rounds, so I bought the box again and got the dingo. Both aren't very good for starting rounds, but the dingo is very good for later rounds. Next, open up that door and drop down into the power room. Turn on the power. And once everything is turned on, just sit in this back spawn, or sorry, in this power room for about two or three rounds just to get points for your perks and open up more doors later. On about round six, go ahead and buy Juggernaut. This will prevent you from going down. You can still go down, but it'll just help you. After that, go around and link the teleporters. If you're watching this video, I'm sure you know all the basic steps to doing this. If not, just look up a quick tutorial on how to link every teleporter and turn on the Pack-a-Punch, or get the Pack-a-Punch open, sorry, on the giant. Now, you're just going to want to sit in this room again and train around for just a few more rounds, and you'll notice all these zombies are following me like a train. Um, it's not very hard to do. This area is very big, and if you have trouble, you can go back into the other area. Now, I only picked up this death machine because there were no more zombies really, because I just got a nuke. But you should never pick up these death machines. They're pretty much death traps. You pick one up, and it's, you can't run, it's very slow with walking, and you only have a limited amount of ammo. It's just not very good. Next, I bought the Bowie knife. You don't have to buy this, but... It's just good for liquid divinium, and it's a point waster, I guess. Every time you see a nuke, you're gonna want to get it. It'll help conserve ammo. That trap I just turned on will help because you get lots of liquid divinium, because you're spending money on it, and also protection. If you do everything right, and everything like you want, and have all the perks and all the weapons you want, and upgrade them, then everything should look a little like this. You'll have a big train around you. If you want to do this solo, I recommend you don't camp up on the catwalk. I recommend you do this, what I'm doing right here. Now right here, I went to upgrade the shotgun again, but I went down. And then as I got up again, I died. And that's it for me. <laughs> I made it 35 rounds. And I hope you guys do too. It's not a very super high round, but Whatever floats your boat, I guess. So, thanks for watching. Peace.